Hi guys, today I have my very first haul video to show you guys. Um, I usually post my hauls on my blog about once a month or so. And it's not about bragging or anything like that. It's just kind of showing my readers and my viewers, you know, what deals I've found lately and what you have to look forward to coming up on my nails. So the stuff that I'm going to be showing you today are purchases that I've made in March and in April. I mean, it's not like I'm constantly buying nail polish, but I do probably make a purchase once every week or two, sometimes just one or two bottles, or sometimes I go and make a really big haul like I did yesterday. So, um, to start out with, I have a couple of polishes that I bought at Ulta, and I personally never shop at Ulta without a coupon. If you're not part of their mailing list, go to their website and right on the home page of their website there's always a coupon to print. Usually it's like three fifty off of a ten dollar purchase, sometimes it's twenty percent off of one item, and sometimes it's actually twenty percent off of your entire order. So I have the OPI Black Shatter which uh, when I bought the rest of the Katy Perry collection they were sold out of and then I found this in the clearance this is blue for you and I know my camera won't refocus but I'll give you guys kind of a closer look it's a really dark blue um, it's got a little bit of kind of pink shimmer to it and I think that's going to be really pretty and like I said that was probably from the beginning of March um, here I have one that I just picked up at Target. This is Nicole uh, Make a Comet Mint. And it's a very sparkly holographic silver polish. And let's see. I have... I'm, I'm part of the Sally's Reward Program. And if you guys shop at Sally's and you're not part of that program, you really should sign up. It only costs $5 to sign up and you get a $5 coupon, so it's basically free. And you get cheaper prices on pretty much everything in the store. And if you spend $25 in a month, the following month you'll get a 15% off coupon. So that's pretty easy for me, and so I usually end up going once a month just to spend my coupon. Um, my mom really wanted a sky blue, and we found this... Periwinkle by Sally's Girl on the clearance. It's just a pretty sky blue color. And also in the clearance, I found this China Glaze Blue Paradise. It's kind of almost a chrome finish. I haven't worn it on its own yet, but I have used it for stamping with Conad, and it worked really well for that. And then while I was there, I also picked up these two Orleys. This is Hookup just a kind of bright pearly yellow and this creamy purple is called charged up so purple is my favorite color it's always hard to pass one of those up um, then I have another haul from Ulta um, and when you go to Ulta make sure to find their clearance area it's usually in a different location in every store and some stores have multiple areas for clearance but I always start out there, and this time I got uh, La Positively Hot Matte by OPI. It's a very bright pink that dries to a matte finish, and I think that'll be interesting to wear, even though a lot of times with matte I'll end up putting a glossy top coat and wearing it shiny anyway. And also in the clearance I found this Femme Fatale. It's kind of a dark, vampy, kind of purpley maroon color. And, I mean, that was only 49 cents. You don't have to pay a lot for polish. Um, you know, the clearance is a really good place to look. You don't even have to look at any of the regular priced nail polish if you don't want to. And also in the clearance, and I've, I've been to Ulta again recently, it's still there, is almost all of the Vintage Vixen collection from China Glaze. Uh, they literally had all 12 colors in the clearance, and I had to kind of keep myself from buying all of them, but I did get several colors. Um, this is Going My Way. It's kind of a bronzy, dark color. Um, this is Midnight Mission. 
It's kind of a glitzy, shiny, sparkly blue, although it's not actually a glitter. I also got Bogey, which is a purple. Uh, Jitterbug, which is a sparkly, silvery gray. It's one of my favorite colors to wear on my nails is a really dark gray. Um, this is Riveter Rouge, and it's another one of those kind of sparkly finishes that's not really a glitter polish. Um, this is Ingrid, and it's a taupe, but if you get it in the right lighting, you'll be able to see it has kind of a gold shimmer to it. It's a really interesting color. And this is Hey Doll, and this is kind of a mauve. So, like I said, that's about half of the collection. Um, and if you're interested in the other colors, you can probably still also find those there. So, I think all the rest of the stuff I have to show you are things I bought yesterday. I was just out shopping and in a polish buying mood. And pretty much every single thing is stuff that I found on sale. So... My first stop was Ulta. Uh, I got a bottle of Matte Magic because this is actually getting kind of hard to find. I found this in their clearance bin. And I, I love mattifying my manicures after I've had them on for a couple days just to change up the look. And although they are still carrying this online, it's getting hard to find in stores. So I picked that up right away. Also, in the clearance were a couple of Ulta polishes. Um, you know, I, I was never in an Ulta before I started my blog, and now it's like I'm there every couple weeks. They have two polish lines. They're regular Ulta polishes, and then their Ulta Salon formula. Don't ask me what the difference is, because I couldn't tell you. Um, some of them in the clearance were marked down to $3.99, but these were all marked down to $1.99. This plain white is called Angel Baby. Uh, this green is called Urban Jungle and I'm not sure if you can see that kind of has a shimmer to it also. Um, and if you'd like a closer look at any of these polishes I'm also going to do a blog post of all these hauls and I'll have some better pictures since like I was saying I know my camera's not refocusing when I hold them up close so you're just kind of getting a look at the colors. And this is kind of a teal blue, and unfortunately at some point in its life it lost its label, so I don't know what it's called, but it's really pretty. And my mom actually wants to wear that one for Easter. So, um, there are three Altas that are pretty close to me. The one I went to yesterday is also right next to the mall. So I headed over there, and when I walked in... Uh, I came in next to a Trade Secret, which is a salon, and they also carry some nail polish. So I saw a sign that said, you know, something like, warehouse clearance, buy one, get one free. So I immediately headed in there, and the sales lady goes, oh, it's not buy one, get one free, it's buy one, get two free. So, of course, I, I didn't exactly go wild, but I picked up six colors. Um, this one is DS Mystery from the OPI Designer Series, and it's a really dark color with kind of gold glitter in it, and, you know, I love all the de Designer Series polishes. They're all really pretty, um, even though they are slightly more expensive than normal OPI polishes, but, you know, buy one, get two free made the price of all of these really cheap. I think I got all six of these for like 20 bucks or something. Um, this is DS Glow, and it's just a really shiny bronze color. Okay, so apparently my camera will not take videos longer than 10 minutes, which I didn't know because I've never shot a video this long. So I'm going to try and just pick up where I left off and continue with what I got from Trade Secret. Um, the rest of these are Essies. Most of what they had were Essie and OPI. And this is the Cove Copper. It's kind of a bright, shiny copper color. And these next three are really similar. I may end up doing a water marble with them because I think they'd look really great together. Uh, this one, which has kind of a gold hint to it, 
is called It's Genius. This next one, which is kind of the same kind of a mauve, except it has a little bit of silver to it, is called Rockstar Skinny. And this last one, which is the darkest of them, uh, is called Decadent Diva. So then while I was at the mall, why I really went in there was to go to Claire's, which you may be familiar with. It's kind of a, you know, they sell a lot of accessories and they also have some nail polish. Um, what I went there looking for are these three colors. There was a MAC collection that was based on the Evil Queens from Disney movies. And MAC is kind of out of my price range. I mean, you know, for the price of a MAC polish, I can get several other polishes from another brand. But these colors from Claire's are very close duplicates to those. And the first one is Evil Queen. It's kind of a dark purple with a bluish kind of duochrome glitter in it. These are all kind of hard to describe because they have so many colors in them. Uh, the second one is called Venomous also kind of a purple, more of a pinky purple, and it's got kind of a green duochrome to it. Um, and the third one is called Poison Apple. It's kind of a deep red with a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. And not only did I find those three, which are what I was looking for, but they were in the clearance section, so they were like half price. I think they were only uh, $2.50 instead of $5.00. Also, in the clearance, I found this gray cream, which is called Raindrops, and it was marked down to $2 from $4. Uh, another thing at Claire's is that their normal cosmetics, every single time I've ever been in there, are buy one, get one 50% off. So, uh, I also got these. This brighter blue is called Freshwater, and this darker blue is called Tranquil. So after I left the mall, I wanted to go and use my Sally's 15% off coupon for April. And I thought I'd just pick up, you know, some normal top coat. Uh, I needed a new nail buffer, just a couple of regular things. But when I got there, um, I ended up with a lot more. Uh, first thing I got was this deep blue cream. It's called Sailor. It's a Nina Ultra Pro color. And that was in the clearance. And, you know, some Sally's have really good clearance. And some of them are really good at getting in the new collections. And some of them are not. So if you have more than one Sally store in your area, you might have to figure out which one you want to give your business to. Um, because they're not all created equal, and I suppose that's just the store manager's decision, but, for example, the one close to my job never has any of the new collections. I very rarely go there, while the one that's close to my house, I mean, they know me in there. They always have the new stuff, and this time they had the China Glaze Island Escape, which is their summer collection, and... You know, I collect nail polish. I, I consider it a collection as well as just wearing it on my nails. I mean, I enjoy having the bottles, you know, looking at them, lining them up, playing with them. Um, it's a lot more interesting than stamps or some of the other weird things that people may collect. And the other thing is that you can't always count on being able to pick up a color later. I mean, this is China Glaze's summer collection. It's not going to be available in a few months, so you have to get it when you find it. Um, the orange is called Papaya Punch. The yellow, it's kind of weird yellow, is called Electric Pineapple. Uh, the blue, really pretty shimmery blue, is called Blue Iguana. Um, the pink is called 108 Degrees. Uh, the purple is called Senorita Bonita. The green is called Cha Cha Cha. And these colors are all really bright, really great for summer, but I would not actually call any of them neons. They're not that bright and eye-popping, uh, but they are really pretty colors. 
And, oh yeah, Sally's also, for the rest of the month of April, all of their polish in the entire store is buy two, get one free. So, you know, and I don't, I don't know if I mentioned in my Ulta haul fact, you know, actually, I think I forgot to show you these three. These three are also from my Ulta haul. Let me backtrack for a minute. Ulta also has buy two, get one free. And so I picked up these colors from the China Glaze uh, Anchors Away collection. Um, this is white cap. So white with a lot of gold shimmer in it. Um, this is sea spray. It's kind of a grayish blue. And this is first mate. It's kind of a darker blue. Um, and if you're thinking that looks just like the Nina Ultra Pro that I got, um, they're similar, but they're not the same. The Nina Ultra Pro is definitely darker. And, okay, let's see, what else did I get at Sally's? Um, one of the brands, I don't know if this is Sally's brand or if they just only carry it at Sally's, is called Finger Paints. And there were a couple of special displays. One was advertising as uh, 12 new colors. And from that display, I picked up Warm Hearted. Um, it's got a funny spelling to it because all the finger paints have kind of arty paint names. It's kind of taupe, kind of pink, kind of gold. Um, really unique color. And I got this turquoise teal kind of glitter. It's called Art You Wondering. And it kind of reminds me of China Glaze Atlantis without the hollow glitter. And I also got this purple glitter. This is called Purple Palette. And then from another display, which I don't remember the name of, it was something for spring. Uh, this is Art Dealer Tealer. And it just looks it looks like it almost glows. It's got such a deep shimmer to it. And then I saw an orally display. And I got these two colors. This is Bubbly Bombshell. Kind of a bright pink fuchsia glitter. And here comes Trouble. It's like a grass green, real bright green glitter. Okay, I think that's everything. Um, yeah. Um, if you're wondering what I have on my nails, I'm wearing OPI, uh, the one that got away. And it's one of the colors I used in the pink petal water marble, and I really wanted to wear it on its own. Super pretty. Um, and I'm going to be taking that off in a little bit and doing my Easter manicure and shooting a tutorial for that. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at my haul. And let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd like to see more haul videos, because, I mean, I'm going to keep buying nail polish. Um, you know, I, I try to take you guys' um, requests into consideration, although I have so many of my own ideas. I'm really, 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 really slow at getting to requests, but I mean, I always write them all down. So, you know, I don't want to put a video out there that nobody's interested in watching or that nobody cares about. And if you'd like to see some better, clearer, in-focus pictures of these colors, you can check out my blog. There will be a blog post to go along with this video. Yeah, my camera just cut out again. I did not think that this video was going to take this long, that my camera would automatically cut me off, not once, but twice, for going up to 10 minutes. But, um... Just to wrap this up, like I said, let me get, let me know if you guys would like to see more haul videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just, you know, sharing the love, sharing the sales and the deals and uh, what's out there right now. So, um, I don't know if this will go up first or if the Easter tutorial will go up first. But, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy that one also. And as always, thanks for watching.